All right, whenever you're ready. So first off, I'm just going to ask, how many of you skip breakfast regularly, once or twice a week? So about half the class. So a study done by the USDA, so the United States Department of Agriculture, which is the government agency in charge of agricultural and food production and the maintenance and safety regulations that occurred with, did a survey and compiled statistics on breakfast eating in 2017. And they say about 44% of Americans, so about half, skip breakfast, and 93% of Americans say it's most important meal of the day, which those numbers don't actually line up very well. So today, we're going to talk about these things. We're going to talk about the problems with energy and weight control that are related to skipping breakfast. We're going to talk about how the lack of carbohydrates from eating the first meal of the day affects and causes these problems, and how breakfast actually solves the problems and why it does it. So first thing, this is important to us because we all eat food, and it's how we survive. It's how we produce our output of schoolwork. It's how we can run and walk and move. And I've been researching this for about a week and a half, two weeks now, and I feel as if I've got good understanding of how these things work. So first off, let's go into the problems. So the lack of energy causes attention issues, which was found by the CDC, a government agency in charge of citizen health, in a report they on health and academic achievement in 2014. They were studying uh, different breakfast programs across the nation in the public schools, K-12 and sometimes colleges, and how those who ate breakfast and participated in those programs did compared to others. And those who did not participate in the breakfast program showed less energy during the morning hours, were less attentive during their class times, and they had lower overall grade averages than those who participated in the breakfast. This also has led to uh, weight fluctuations, which was found by Napkin, a science editor at The Telegraph, in her article, Breakfast Like a King, Lunch Like a Prince, and Dine Like a Prophet to Stay Healthy, in 2016. Because you're not eating your first meal, you backload your calories into lunch and dinner, meaning that you have a larger influx of weight in the evening than you did in the morning, meaning that you can have large variations of weight throughout the day. And why are these problems caused? They're caused because we don't get enough carbohydrates or simple sugars. If you remember from your major bio, basic bio in high school, simple sugars are like glucose, sucrose, fructose, and they're the basic energy source for mitochondria, which gives the power to all the cell parts. Which is important because that we just function as a group of cells. And because we don't have the carbohydrates, we have less energy to work with, so you have to use fats, which are harder to break up and turn into carbohydrates and are less energy efficient. We use low energy. Another thing that this causes is later in the day, it causes insulin resistance, which was discovered by Macmillan, in a journalist for Time Health, in her article, Here's What Skipping Breakfast Does to Your Body in 2017. The insulin resistance is caused because you're now switching from one food source to another mean that insulin isn't working as well as it would have if you had just eaten all the way through the day. This can cause, this is what actually causes weight fluctuations because you're not intaking as much carbohydrates as efficiently as possible. And so how breakfast solves this problem is pretty simple. Breakfast, so during the morning, your body, because of circadian rhythms, can intake more carbohydrates and process more efficiently than it can throughout the rest of the day. In the evening, you're the least efficient processing food, but in the morning, you are the most efficient, meaning that breakfast can be processed much easier than dinner. Carbohydrates are found in, breakfast, in most breakfast foods. A lot of pancakes, um, eggs have a lot of them, bagels, many common breakfast foods have lots of carbohydrates, and they're good for your body. They help, pro they help you get through the day and give you lots of efficiency. So, in conclusion, we have discussed the problems with energy and weight control related to the lack of carbohydrates, which causes those problems. 
Can we first have breakfast? Six is really hot. So before we go, I'd like you all to get out your phones or whatever device you have with you. And if you set an alarm on your phone for the time to get up the next day, when you set 30 minutes earlier than normal. Or if you don't have your alarm on your phone, I'd like you to get out your phone and set a notification to set it you know, 30 minutes earlier whenever you get back to your dormitory. That way you have 30 minutes to go get your breakfast. It doesn't have to be big. A simple banana, maybe some orange juice. In fact, a study showed 43% of Americans eat based upon convenience, which that study was reported on by Fentozzi, a journalist with a specialty in food, in her article, More Than Half a Maker Skip Breakfast at Least Once a Week in 2015. So, thank you all. Great job.